Hey YouTube, we're going to be putting together a setup for a Halloween moon crab. Stay tuned. Now the first thing we're going to be putting together is the substrate at the bottom. Um, you can buy different kinds of soils or something at your local hardware store, but I'm so personally weary about what chemicals might be in there or where they might have gotten it from that I personally just go ahead and stick with the coconut fiber. Um, this one in particular is a Zoomed Eco Earth, but you know, any of the pet store coconut fibers that are, you know, for sure safe uh, for animal use already is what I'm going to go with for now at least until I know for a fact that uh, any other substrate is coming from somewhere clean. So we're going to go ahead and pour this all in. Just pour in the whole bag because these guys like to dig. And even that is not going to seem like much, but the reason why we went with something taller is because they do like to climb out. They can. So you definitely want something with locking lid, just in case. Now this tub in particular I got at a hardware store. Uh, it's just a regular storage stuff because it is close to Christmas time. Of course it's got red, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the most important thing is that you get these holes done all over. These are gonna be the vents. So make sure you put vents everywhere first. And then I also did the same thing with the lid. You go ahead and put little holes in there everywhere. So I went with this and just took the time to sit there and make all of the holes with a wood burning tool. That's what I personally use. But that's how I make all of my little holes on all of the tubs that I use. So we're putting all of this. Uh, it will expand and look bigger once I uh, put water in it because it is coconut fiber and that does expand a lot. Uh, but we're also gonna go ahead and put a few little rocks and such. We live in South Florida, that means coral rock is literally everywhere in our backyard. Um, this, it's probably what is pretty natural for these guys since they are so tropical in the first place. I made a little bit of a gradient of from, you know, a lower amount of dirt to slightly higher. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and place these almost like a border to try to keep a thicker amount of dirt on this end. You can get one of these artificial plants. Uh, there's plenty of these different kinds, all different things you can get. This is just one that I already had. I rinsed it down. A bridge I'm actually gonna put on the higher side because that way he already has some shade if he wants to start digging on that part. So now that we've got this all set up, really quick I'm gonna to talk to you about the actual Halloween moon crab. Okay, 
So now that he has literally pinched me and he's got me and I'm just trying really hard not to let go from it hurting a little bit. It's not that bad. Um, these little guys are obviously really, really pretty if you look at all these colors. And they are a nocturnal species. So you would find them... Oh! Oh, that is a hard pinch. Oh. Okay, so they're a nocturnal species and they're very tropical species. So you would see these guys uh, in all of Central America uh, along the coasts, the coastal rainforests of Central America. And they like to be in the mangroves and all of those areas. They're really a very, very pretty crab species. Uh, besides that little pinch, they're actually very, very cool. Um, they are nivorous. I'm going to show you what they eat now. A little bit of everything. Uh, this guy right here, you know, hopefully it's not me. He's really got a good, good grab on my finger there. I'm not too happy about that. But here we are. Uh, oh, and he's getting harder. Okay, 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 okay. So, as you can see, as most crabs, the males have a very large pinchers here. Besides the pinching, they are actually a very, very cool creature. Even with the tough pinch, you can see I'm not bleeding anywhere where he pinched me. So it is, it's really not the worst. But they are a very cool species. I'm going to go ahead and let him go in here. Here we go, bud. New home. Now, because they are omnivores, this is what I'm feeding them. So you can see there's plenty of greens, some veggies, some freeze-dried crickets, so they have a little bit of protein, and I am going to add a little bit of calcium and vitamin D3 powder. Just sprinkle a little bit on top. Calcium is very important for them because of their their shell. It's uh, Very much of it is made of calcium, so they do need quite a bit of it, and it's a good idea to sprinkle a little bit on their food. And that's it. That is the Halloween moon crab for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as usual, you can like, subscribe, follow us on social media and our newest Patreon.